Another lovely little Christmas decoration. It's the uh, fiber optic. Uh, here is the module. Uh, it's pretty basic. We got the 12 volt feeding in, been split off to the motor and the bulb. The motor turns around the little color wheel. Here we have the power pack, rated at 12 volt AC. Here's the multimeter. Turn it around to the uh, AC voltage checker. Turned on. We will insert our two test probes in here and see if we're getting our 12 volts on the screen. And we'll take it from there. So, took off the little caps. Uh, made connection, turned on, and nothing. So, our power supply is dead. Let's see what happens when we change it. So I dug around inside my big box of transformers and I come across another 12 volt AC 1 amp power supply. And lo and behold, it lights the bulb all right, yep. Now, why did the last power supply die? Well, we see there that it's rated 12 volt AC at 1 amp. I did notice that the bulb that was in there was a 20 watt. And from memory, a 20 watt was a bit strong. Uh, I did check the instructions, I didn't give any recommendations. But I went down to my favourite bulb shop in the entire world, Steels in 61A High Street, Oma. And I picked up uh, a new bulb, uh, a 10 watt version. So hooked up the trusty multimeter and we do a few wee tests here uh, look the 20 watt takes one and a half amps and as we can tell that's well over the one amp limit that this power supply can supply so let's put in the uh, let's put in the 10 watt now you see 12 volt 10 watt in there well anyway let's put in the 10 watt now and see what happens so here's the 10 watt Installed. See that? Tell what, nothing good. And it only draws 0.8 amp. So that's because it was a 10 watt bulb. So thanks to John and Siobhan for sorting me out down there. When we're at it, we'll uh, measure the uh, current drawn by the motor. So just touch these off here. One around. 0.1 of an amp. So that's combined, will be underneath the one amp limit. Now let's put it all together. So there we have it. Uh, new charger and bulb and the motor going together. Let me see what happens. So the color changes and it goes up through the fiber optic, giving the little twinkly effect. If you ever wondered how that happens. Maybe you see it now all assembled now. Let's just spend one more wee second looking at this. There's something about this mesmerizing. I don't want to put it away yet. Okay, let's get back to work. Okay, you ready? Here's the big light switch on. Ooh, look at that. How beautiful. So uh, the lesson today is uh, don't put in bulbs that are too strong because they might just blow your power supply. Always check the rating. If it was a 10 watt bulb, be sure to replace it with a 10 watt bulb. And uh, yeah, then you'll not have to bring it up here for repair. But if your Christmas decorations do lie down and you want to get them fixed, you know I'm always here for you. Merry Christmas. Today's video was brought to you by Jimmy of Heinz Electronic, Master of Technosis.